Well, there's no shortage of opulent estates in Bel Air, but few are set on more than nine acres of land. Well, in tonight's Look at This, our Desmond Shaw has the history of one of America's most exclusive homes, and it's currently for sale. Well, take a look at this incredible estate in Bel Air. This is Casa Encantada. It's a home that's been called a work of art equivalent to a Picasso. It's regarded as one of the most important examples of LA architecture, and it has a history worthy of a Hollywood movie. According to real estate historian Jeff Hyland in his book on the legendary estates of Beverly Hills, it was built near the height of the Great Depression, and it was commissioned by a woman named Hilda Olson Bolt Weber. She was a New York City hospital nurse who married a wealthy glass manufacturer named Charles Bolt. And when he passed in 1929, she inherited a huge sum of money, and she was determined to use that new wealth to muscle her way into L.A. high society. She started by buying about nine and a half acres of land above the Bel Air Country Club for $100,000, which was a jaw-dropping sum during that time. And she hired famous architect James Delana to build her grand estate, which took about two years to complete. Opened in 1938. Between the home, the gardens, and the interior furnishings, Bolt Weber exhausted almost her entire newfound fortune. But that didn't stop her from hosting massive parties for Hollywood A-listers and executives that cost the modern-day equivalent of about a million bucks each. And although Hollywood elites were impressed by the home, she had to sell other valuable property just to maintain her opulent lifestyle. And in 1948, she was forced to sell this home as well. At first, she asked one and a half million, but had no takers. It languished on the market for almost two years before finally being bought by legendary hotelier Conrad Hilt for 225,000. At that point, deeply in debt, this was such a devastating financial loss for Bolt Weber that she took her own life the year after the sale. According to Mansion Global, Hilton was the one who named it Casa Encantada and would live here in this house until his death in 1979, making almost no changes to the home, which he called a time capsule of 1940s high style. It would be quite the investment for Hilton's heirs, though. They sold the massive home to business magnate David Murdoch for over $12 million in 1980, which was then a record for the most expensive home sale in the country. It set the record a second time when in 2000 it was sold to businessman Gary Winnick for 94 million bucks. Winnick spent many millions restoring and updating the home. He too passed away here in 2023. Before he died, he had tried to put the home up for sale, what would have been a, yet another record, 250 million, but it's still on the market as of this look, discounted to only $195 million. So if you've been in the market for a truly one-of-a-kind estate with a history to match, contact your local agent about the magnificent Casa Encantada perched high above the Bel Air Country Club. Take a look at this from SkyCal. I'm Desmond Shaw.